once upon a time in Las Vegas, Nevada, United States, lived a boy by the name Bryce Aaron Max Harper, who we all know as Bryce Harper. Questions can be asked to on how Bryce Harper became such a personality in the world of sports we all know today. Who is Bryce Harper? And what was Bryce Harper's early life and his career? How has performance while in the Washington national teams? And what are some of the awards and achievements he has claimed over the years? What do you know about the Philadelphia Phillies? It's time for me to answer all these questions and more, since this is A S M R. Aaron, back at it again with another daily video to help you relax. So lay back and enjoy the ride. I hope this video gets you through your day, or even better, I hope this read helps you gently fall asleep. I can't wait to get started. This is the tale of Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper is an American nationality and a famous baseball player aged 27. He's a very talented American right fielder who plays for the Philadelphia Phillies in Major League Baseball. He is known for having an outstanding and impressive performance in his professional career throughout the years he has played. Harper is a six-time All-Star and one of the most decorated and sensational sports personalities today in the MLB. Initially, Harper had played for the Washington Nationals in the MLB between 2012 and 2018, and since then he has been regarded as a five-tool player. He had graduated early from high school to join the College of Southern Nevada, and during his life in college he achieved the Golden Spikes Award in 2010. The Nationals elected him as the first overall pick during the 2010 MLB draft. He made the national debut in the MLB on April 28, 2012, when he was just 19. Harper was the youngest player to ever perform in an All-Star game since his selection in 2012. During the same year, he went on to win the National League Rookie of the Year award. In 2015, Harper tied for the National League lead in home runs. He was awarded as the National League's most valuable player from 2015 season by the unanimous decision under the Baseball Writers Association of America when he was 23 years old, making him the youngest player in MLB to win the award. During the 2018 and 19 offseason, Harper was a free agent and the Phillies signed him for a $330 million contract. This was by then the richest ever contracting in North American sports history, but was short-lived by Mike Trout. What was Bryce Harper's early life and amateur career? Bryce Harper was born in the great city of Las Vegas, Nevada on October 16, 1992. He is a son to Ron Harper and Sherry Harper and the youngest brother to Brian. He was raised in Las Vegas and he has a lot of fascination in sports at his young age. It's not entirely clear how he got involved in baseball, but he had great possessions while he was a kid. Harper went to Las Vegas High School and, and by October 2009 he had achieved his general education development. This meant that he was suited to be drafted in the June 2010 amateur and this a breakthrough into his professional baseball career. He was enrolled at the College of Southern Nevada, the Scenic West Athletic Conference in 2010. He was by then 17 years old and in the National Junior College Athletic Association. Harper played as a catcher. Brian Harper's older brother was initially his teammate at Las Vegas High School and by now was starting pitcher of the Southern Nevada Coyote. Bryce and Brian worked as a battery most of the time. While the SWAC, Harper was advantaged by the use of wooden bats during conference play. Out of 66 games played, Harper managed to hit 31 home runs and 98 RBIs. There was a 443 hitting average with a 526 on base percentage and managed a 987 slugging percentage. 
During this time, Harper shuttered the previous record of the school of 12 home runs when it rose to 31. This made him become the SWAC Player of the Year at the time, hitting the cycle. During the 2010 NJCAA World Series, Harper scored 6 for 7 in the West District Finals with 5 RBIs as well as a hit for the period. The following day featured a double header encounter and Harper managed to go 6 for 6 having 4 home runs with a triple and a double. Harper got ejected from the National Junior College World Series game as a result of the disputed calling by Don Gilmore, home plate ump. He reacted after the ejection by drawing a line on the ground using his bat and was assumed to indicate where he imagined the pitch to be. This was his second ejection that year, and it was an automatic two-game suspension, and this was his final amateur career. This also resulted in a loss by the Southern Nevada and eventual elimination from the tournament. However, he won the 2010 Golden Spikes Award in the United States because of his capability and competence in the game. Bryce Harper was drafted into Washington Nationals during the 2010 MLB Draft as the number one pick. Before then, Harper was a predominant catcher, but the team made him an outfielder. This was to extend his career and improve his player development as he was being prepared to debut in the MLB. There was an agreement of a five-year term contract that was estimated to cost $9.9 .9 million. This was a deadline signing, which also included signing bonuses of $6.25 million and was granted college tuition of eight semesters. The signing materialized within the final minute and the deal was thought not to happen. Nationals general manager Mike Rizzo claimed that if the deal couldn't happen, it would be very fruitless and the Nationals officially introduced Harper as their player on August 26, 2010. He chose to wear jersey number 34 and said he admired Mickey Mantle. He was then selected to feature in the Arizona Fall League and was a member of the Scottsdale Scorpions. It became a direct selection after batting 319 and 407 on base percentage that led the team in hits, home runs, walks, and RBIs during the Nationals Fall Instructional League. He became the second youngest player in the league's history. In the 2010 Arizona Fall League Championship, Harper led his team to victory when he batted 343 and slugging 729. Harper batted 399 during spring training and helped him enter into minor league career when he was optioned to Hagerstown Suns, who was of the Class A South Atlantic League. By April 2011, Harper had experienced a slow start to his career in the minor league. He made an appointment with Dr. Keith Smithson, an optometrist who diagnosed him with the worst eyes and wondered how Harper had managed to hit before. He was given contact lenses and in his first 20 games with the contact lenses on, Harper managed to hit 480 and collected 7 home runs, had 10 doubles and managed 23 RBIs. Later on he got a selection to represent the United States during the 2011 All-Star Futures game. On July 4th, 2011 he got a promotion to the Harrisburg Senators which is the Class AA Eastern League. In his AA debut Harper went 2 for 3 with 2 singles, a walk and a run. Harper got a hamstring injury on August 18th, 2011 when he was running from second onto third on the extra base hit. It was a very severe injury in his professional career that his coaches helped him walk out of the field. He went into the seven day disabled list and this was the end of the season for him. In 2012 he started the 2012 season with the Syracuse Chiefs of the Class AAA International League. Harper was promoted into the Major League by the Nationals on April 27th, 2012. This was after Ryan Zimmerman went to the disabled list. The Nationals gave Harper a debut the following day when they were playing Los Angeles Dodgers. In Harper's first major league at bat, he grounded out to pitcher Chad Billingsley and his first major league hit and a double was against Billingsley in his third at bat. His first ever RBI was on a sack fly, which was at the top of the ninth and was against Javi Guerra. Harper went through to third after a pitch hit him by Cole Hamels, which was in the first inning of a game played on May 6th against the Phillies. He became the first teenager who stole home plate that had ever happened in 1964. Hamels was later on suspended for five games after confessing that he hit Harper intentionally. Harper hit his major league home run on May 19th when he was 19 years old. He had connected off of pitcher Tim Stauffer of San Diego Padres. He also happened to be the youngest player ever to homer in the Major League since it was done in 1998 by Adrian Beltre. 
Harper then became the National League Rookie of the Month in May, and on June 5th, he got his first walk-off hit, having an RBI single in 12th inning bottom played against the New York Mets. In the All-Star final vote, he was named a candidate, and the winner went to the All-Star game roster. He was in the third position just after David Fries and Michael Bourne. Later on, Bourne made the roster when Ian got injured while Harper became the youngest position player. He was the third youngest player after Dwight Gooden and Bob Feller, who ever made an All-Star roster. In the games after the All-Star break, Harper went below his performance. He struggled and he managed 176 hits with 26 strikeouts in the first 116 plate appearances during the season's second half. It was during this time that his manager, Davey Johnson, noticed his performance and decided to grant him offs. On August 29th, he hit two home runs when they faced the Miami Marlins. This was Harper's first ejection in the Major League, and this happened when he threw his helmet down after the ninth inning and was a reaction to hitting a double play. This was a significant improvement from the previous performances. On September 5th, Harper had a multi-homer match and was playing against the Chicago Cubs. He again became Rookie of the Month in September for the second time. He had achieved this when he managed 330 hits and 7 home runs. By the age of 20 years, Harper had accumulated 224 bases in total and additional 57 base hits, making him the youngest player ever to reach that landmark. Harper also hit his first ever postseason home run in 2012 in the fifth game of the 2012 NLDS while facing St. Louis Cardinals. They lost to the St. Louis Cardinals 7-9 even though they led with six runs. He managed an average of 130 batting average in the postseason appearance. He became the National League Rookie of the Year after he garnered 112 votes with 16 first place votes. Wade Miley of Arizona was second with 105 votes with 12 first place votes. During the 2013 season and on an opening day, Harper had two home run hits while facing Miami Marlins. He was the youngest player in the significant league history to have two home run hits in his first game of the season with the Nationals. He was by then 20 years old, and he was voted to start for the MLB All-Star Game, and this was his All-Star selected second career. Next was the 2013 Home Run Derby, and Harper received a selection to participate. He had managed the selection after previously hitting 13 home runs in 58 games. In the starting two rounds of the Home Run Derby, Harper had a total of 16 home runs and helped the team reach the final round. Harper faced Jonas Cespedes of Oakland Athletics in the final. Jonas Cespedes was an outfielder, and the game ended with Harper losing to Jonas Cespedes by 9-8. Even though he lost, Harper was the second youngest player to ever participate in the home run derby, also the youngest by then to reach the finals. On August 6th, Harper reached his 17th homer hit of the season. It was a total of 39 hits of his career, and he surpassed Ken Griffey Jr. for managing to have the most home runs at the age of 21 years. Two other players had held the record, and in 118 games of that season, Harper got 274, 368, and 486 average total hits with 20 home runs, 58 RBIs, and an additional 47 base hits. He underwent successful left knee surgery in the 2013 offseason, and a bursa was successfully removed. 2014 wasn't a good season for Harper, and he injured his left thumb as he was playing against the San Diego Pods. The game was on April 25th, 2014, and he found himself on the 15-day disabled list immediately. Harper was then scheduled to undergo a surgery to rectify a torn ulnar collateral ligament on his left thumb. On his way to recovery in a rehab game featuring a double-A Harrisburg Senators, Harper made three home runs in one game. When he was through with rehab, Harper was recalled to the majors and part of the remaining season in 100 games. He had .273 bats, 13 home runs, and 32 RBIs, and that marked the end of season 2014. Harper had the longest home run hit on April 18, 2015 in his MLB career. He made a 461-foot drive through the center field wall while facing the Philadelphia Phillies. When playing against Tom Kohler of Miami Marlins on May 6, Harper made three home run hits in one game, which was the first in his career. During this game, one shot went 442 feet onto the second deck. He helped the team win 7-5 against the Miami Marlins. This was the highest feat the first ever achieved by a player his age since Joe Luhau did it in 1969. The month of May saw Harper get the Player of the Month award, which was the first in his career. 
2015 was the best season for Harper since 1900 for all players aged 23, and was his best season as a hitter who was initially achieved a decade earlier by Barry Bonds. He was so instrumental when the majors went into WAR and became the youngest player to have at least 40 home runs with 120 walks in a single season, a record Babe Ruth had held earlier. 2015 season also saw Harper recognized by Baseball America when he became the 2015 Player of the Year, and the same year on October 31st, he won the National League 2015 Hank Aaron Award. He was unanimously selected for the 2015 National League Most Valuable Player on November 19th. At the age of 23, he had won his first MVP, and he had won the award unanimously as the youngest player. He was also the first player to win the MVP award in Nationals Expo's history. Playing for a Washington team, he was also ESPN's 2015 MLB Person of the Year. In his 100th career home run, Harper reached his first ever Grand Slam career when he was facing the Atlanta Braves on April 14, 2016. Within three days, he had a home run hit in his fourth straight game, which was a great streak in his career, featuring in most consecutive games. On April 18, Harper received the National League Player of the Week award. He tied the MLB record for most walks achieved in a single game on May 8th when he had six steps while facing Chicago Cubs. He was also hit by a pitch and became the first player in history to have reached base seven times without having an at-bat in more than 100 years. In the series of four games, he had been walked 13 times to become the first ever player to make the most walks in a series. He ended the 2016 season with a total batting average of .243, had 24 home runs, and managed 86 RBIs. He had 108 walks, and out of them all, he had 20 intentional which led MLB. His team record was 95-67, and 67, and they won the NL East Division, and they were behind the Dodgers during the 2016 NLDS. The season began on April 3rd, 2017, and Harper managed a solo home run, had a strikeout, and had a walk as they faced the Miami Marlins. It marked the fifth run of Harper's career and was most ever achieved by a player who was under 25 years. He also surpassed Larry Walker's 29-1997 MLB record for runs achieved by setting a new one in April when he reached 32. Harper was involved in a brawl with his opponent Hunter Strickland after a pitch from him hit him. Harper responded when he threw his helmet wide of his opponent, and it resulted in the exchange of punches between the two. This led to a bench-clearing brawl, and Michael Morse of the Giants and Harper's former teammate in the National Giants sustained a severe concussion. He had collided with Jeff Samarzija, Giants pitcher, and this led to an ejection of Harper and Strickland. On May 30th, the following day, Harper received a suspension of four games of which he appealed. The suspension was eventually reduced to just three. Harper reached the 150th home run on August 7th at the age of 24 years and was the same age as Mike Trout of Los Angeles when he accomplished the same feat. After reaching first base on August 12th, Harper sustained a hyperextended left knee and he eventually left the game. The scan revealed that the knee had a bone bruise, but the ligament was not damaged. He was named on the disabled list, and he came out of the disabled list and faced the Philadelphia Phillies. In the fifth game of the NLDS, Harper got 2-4 and four in an RBI on October 13th. This was the last one out of the game, and he struck out when he faced Wade Davis of the Chicago Cubs, and the NLCS bid was over. Harper had more walks in the early stages of the 2018 season compared to the previous season. When he became the 2018 MLB All-Star Game starting outfielder, Harper batted 219 with 21 home runs and 50 RBIs. The season ended with a career high of 130 walks, 34 home runs, and a batting average of 249 with 100 RBIs. He reached triple digit RBIs in his career and was a free agent at the end of the 2018 season. Harper was on the headlines after he signed for the Philadelphia Phillies in March 2019. He signed a 13 year deal which valued $330 million. It was believed to be the largest deal ever experienced in MLB, but was overtaken by Mike Trout's 12-year contract extension that was worth $430 million. In his new club, Harper chose to don jersey number 3, as opposed to his previous one while playing with the Nationals. Jersey number 34 at Philadelphia Phillies was reserved to honor the late Roy Halladay. Harper made his first hit in the Philadelphia Phillies jersey on May 15, 2019, when he faced the Atlanta Braves. 
On August 15th, 2019, he faced the Chicago Cubs, and on September 3rd, 2019, he batted his 100th season RBI for the second year running, becoming the first Phillies player to hit for 100 RBIs and more in a single season. The former Harper's team Washington became the World Series champions, and Phillies didn't make it for the playoffs. Harper has had a very successful career at a tender age, and some of the most notable career accomplishments include the NL Most Valuable Player of the Year 2015 and 2012 National League Rookie of the Year. He was also the NL Hank Aaron Award for the year 2015, Silver Slugger Award for the year 2015, and 2015 ESPN MLB Person of the Year. Harper also managed to grab the All-Star Futures game selection for the year 2011, and the 2009 year was Baseball America High School Player of the Year. Unlike other players who usually leave the dugout after being removed from the game, on most occasions Harper has been seen remaining. His intentions of staying in the cellars have indications that he does this purposely with the possibility of being recalled back in the game in case his team runs short of players either through injury or possible ejection. It has been a common thing for Harper to hit home runs on opening day. It has made him become the first player ever in MLB record history to have five home run hits in opening games before attaining 25 years. Harper is a son to Ron Harper and Sherilyn Harper, and he is a resident of Henderson, Nevada in off seasons. His father is an iron worker based in Las Vegas, and lessons from his father influence Harper's work ethic. He states that he saw his father work tirelessly for 25 years and he got inspired by his spirit. Harper was born with an elder brother, Brian, who also happened to play in the Washington Nationals organization, where Harper was a player too. When the two brothers played on different teams for the Washington Nationals organization, Bryce Harper says that they used to communicate quite often on the phone during the seasons. Harper worships at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and he has publicly declared not to be taken away by alcohol. Instead, Harper has been heard saying he'd rather take coffee during the baseball season. He also said in an interview that his Heavenly Father has wanted him to be a walking Book of Mormon, and that he knew from the beginning he could teach most people's lives by playing and try to be one of the best Mormons while on and off the field. Harper was engaged to his girlfriend Kayla Varner in 2014, and they had set a date for their wedding in January 2015, which did not materialize. They had reconciliation and then a re-engagement, which was made public by Kayla in July 2016 and the two got married in December 2016 at the San Diego, California Temple. They had their firstborn on August 22, 2019 in Las Vegas. Bryce Harper was a young but promising schoolboy born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada. Raised by an iron worker, he became a very brilliant, career-oriented, and hard-working personality. He won great titles and awards in baseball, and nobody knows what lies ahead for this ambitious baseball player. Harper has become one of the most celebrated baseball players who has broken records at a young, tender age, and who knows whether he might end up being an influential person in the world. We wish Harper to live happily ever after.
Thank you.